We are heading out of the uh, three and a half, four acre piece, heading to my 18 acres, and as well as the guy has, uh, he has 10 acres he wants to pay me to harvest, which is how I got met up with this guy initially anyways. He had me harvest his 18 acres last year. Uh, and this year I got to plant them and he planted 10 acres of his own. So hopefully we get there speedy, probably definitely gonna be dark. Uh, didn't take the header off because the header cart is still, uh, it, I'm just gonna say it needs some dang work, that's for sure. Um, but I guess uh, you'll find out whether or not I made it. Well, nail bitingly enough, we're almost there. We have to make a turn up uh, past my wife who's in front of me, and uh, which I really don't know why she's slowing down so much. But we have to make a turn and then we're going uh, over there pretty much if you saw the shadow of my hand. And we're going to get started cutting. Alright, well that worked good. Uh, since I don't have a camera mount, uh, I guess I'm just using the reflection off the combine windshield um, so you can see me. Uh, so I am waiting on uh, the landowner slash custom harvest uh, landowner, whatever, um, to come here. I don't know why. My wife drove up ahead, uh, met with him. He, she said he pulled out of his driveway with the grain truck and then pulled right back in. So I'm really not sure what's going on there. I expect I'll probably be getting a call that will interrupt this video. Or, I don't know, he might just take forever. Um... We made it the 9.8 miles, or might as well say 10 miles here. Uh, the combine shook the crap out of me. Um, didn't throw any belts. I had to stop once to turn the auger off uh, because the adjustment on the control lever, uh, that would be, uh, let's see if I can figure that out. Yeah, one of these guys right here, maybe. Yeah, poor video, I'm sorry. But, uh, Basically, it's out of adjustment. It gets stuck. I've tried greasing it. That they're, they're all, it rides on like rubber bushings that are so far gone, old, and just decrepit that, um, well, there's just no fixing it unless I replace them. And I doubt I'd be able to find something for a 1977 New Holland 1400 combine. Uh, they were widely used in Canada. Uh, South Sask farmer. Uh, he actually uh, subscribed to my channel because I you know, commented on his stuff, and, uh, he said that Antoine, the guy that wears the glasses and usually has a funny hat on, on, on South Sask Farmer, uh, cut his teeth on a combine like this, but his was a diesel, so I wish this one was diesel, but it's not, um, but my wife just went to get more gas, because the combine likes to drink gas, big time, uh, I don't necessarily attribute it to the fact that it's an old combine, or the fact that it's a Ford 300 straight six, and this 15,000 pound machine uh, the carburetor is pretty well junk um, so as fast as the fuel pump pumps it in it goes into the engine uh, which can make it hard to start uh, if it's really hot like it'll probably take a minute for it to start after I turn it back on when whenever the landowner gets here um, but yeah I guess that's just a little update and I figured I'd have a chit chat with you and we're going to be cutting some beans here soon, so stay tuned. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but... Jeez, what are these damn coyotes are close. What is up with farming and coyotes, you know? Who would have thought? I'm walking back to the combine now. I just went and got some gas. Took my wife and kids home. Ow, hit my knee. Uh, I know it's a black video at the moment. But I come climbed up here to get my light. There we go. There's the beans we got. We got some some hauls in there. Is what it is. Uh, man, those beans are way smaller than mine. This is the uh, the custom job. There's cuckleburrs in there too. They're not gonna like that at the elevator. But it is what it is. Uh, I gotta get this thing fueled up and get back at it and hopefully not get eaten by coyotes. She drinks it. Uh, oh yeah, she drinks it.
Well, it is 12.14 on a work night. It is a Wednesday, October 23rd. Don't know if I said that earlier. Heading to the truck. Uh, we're full of beans. I can't see that, maybe, probably not. Uh, and for the first time tonight, uh, I plugged the dang combine. I really don't know why, to be honest, unless there's dudes sitting on the beans. I'm gonna get out and inspect them. Uh, Cause obviously, like I said, it's plenty late. So, get some more footage to dump in the bins. You can see what I picked already. You kind of see I'm poking up in there. Get my hand on the control so I don't hit my pick them up. Truck, grain truck, what have you. Yeah. Uh, I even opened up the concave all the way down there. Kind of hoping that that might alleviate some issue and it did. and not combine cab beans. See if I can do all this one. That's a phone and a flashlight. Let's set our parking brake. Uh, lift car allowed. Free straight pipe, courtesy of another farmer. Pull the lever. There we go. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty decent beans, I guess. I honestly expect them to uh, fill up the tank a lot faster. Uh, a little bit of trash. They're kind of small. I don't know if I said that or not yet. But uh, yeah, that thing, uh, it'll move some bushels. I think that if uh, I had the engine all the way wrapped up, uh, I think that auger moves like, I don't know, 11 inch auger moves like a thousand bushels. Man, some stupid uh, spec. I don't believe that it would, but hey, maybe when it was new for its day, that was awesome. So I can tell by the grass on that pile that this pile looks cleaner. Not really sure what's up there. I know if you run the machine without grain in it for a long time, the tailings find their way into the uh, into the clean grain. That's that's possibly some of it. But uh, he wanted that front pull. I don't think it's going to get full tonight. Not all. We have only got like two or three swipes left. I might as well go tomorrow. And I'm uh, out. I'll be danged it shut off on me. That's awesome. So yeah, that's that's what I got so far. It's pretty pretty pitiful. Um, but it is what it is. They're not mine. I'm just getting paid to do it. So hopefully he's happy. I guess. I guess since the uh, combine is over for the night, because I'm tired. This guy wanted a whole load. I've got like two strips left. You can't see them. Maybe. Yeah, nighttime camera, sorry. Um, but I'll finish those tomorrow for him. Uh, it's just too late and I gotta work. But I figured I'd walk around and check the machine. Uh, all of it looks good. Uh, maybe the dim light will work better. Uh, but I come over to my tailings elevator. Oops, that one's not got a paddle in it. I have a new chain, I just never put it on. But if you look down in there, you can see beans. And that's good. That's what the tailings elevator is supposed to do. It takes the tailings, the last little bit before it comes out of the back of the combine, not right there, but like up in here, and it shoots it back up over top of the cylinder and re-threshes it. Now this is the clean grain auger. I'm going to go ahead and shut this one. And this is the clean grain. Let's see what it looks like clean beans really good piece of straw something whatever that crap green crap is probably why the sick machines plug uh, to be honest I was trying to check the grain tanks I knew it was getting full turn my head around and 
bam uh yep she she plugged so everything else seems to be okay whole bunch of freaking chaff and beans believe it or not right there why are beans right there wow yeah that one's new oh i gotta get underneath easier now no beans in our fan which that was a problem last year what is going on here what is going on here are these new beans and these old beans these are totally new beans and a bunch of chaff i'm betting up oh, right there is the culprit that will get a piece of duct tape tomorrow you see it it's damn holes in the bottom of my threshing table probably freaking rusted out i even told my wife Today, when we picked up the combine from the other field, I said, I said, man, it just feels like there's beans everywhere on the ground. That, like, you know, when I stop the machine, they're not, there's a couple. They're not coming out of the back of the machine. They're coming out of the bottom. I just found that out. All right, well, I'm going home. Uh, watch the end. I appreciate it. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys.